Hi guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how I style my pixie forward into kind of this fun shaggy look that was inspired by Sienna Miller's pixie from, I don't know what, like 10 years ago? So let's have some fun. Well, as you can see, my hair is long on the top and short on the sides. So this is what I would call a pixie undercut. My sides are cut to about a number four length. The first product I always use when I'm styling my hair from it being wet is a leave-in conditioner. It depends on what I'm doing with my hair on which leave-in conditioner that I choose, but this product called Fab Me from Design Me Hair is a very good all around. It's designed to nourish and protect and when you heat style your hair or if you're like me and you color it a lot, this is a must. I love this product because it's lightweight, but there's tons of leave-in conditioners on the market. But if you don't want to think about it, grab this, you won't be disappointed. You just want to spray this all over and then either comb it through with your fingers or you can use a wide tooth comb to distribute it throughout the hair strands. Once I have my leave-in conditioner in, I will almost always follow it with a thermal protectant. Once again, this helps smooth the hair and protect it from damage. So today I'm gonna to be using r Co's Tinsel Smoothing Oil. I have very thick hair, so I am not shy with this stuff. If you wanna become a master at styling your hair, you have to learn how to use your blow dryer and your brush together. These guys need to be best friends. I very rarely nowadays just come in and haphazardly blow dry my hair because you're leaving how your hair ends up to chance. You're giving no direction to the hair strands, so a lot of times you'll just end up with this huge puff ball. So do not do that. Today you'll see me use a lot of technique where I come in and blow dry using my brush almost like you would a round brush. And what I'm doing here is I'm helping guide and direct the hair strands. I come in with this curved brush and really pull the hair down and forward. I'm gonna start by pushing all of the hair forward and start kind of just creating the shape that I want the final look to look like. And like I said earlier, I'm going for this fun shaggy bob. So what I'm doing is just grabbing from the crown and shaking it back, shaking it down the sides and shaking this part forward. That way I have a guide for my blow drying. I know what direction I need to go. So let's turn this on and get this started. Now that I have the perimeter dried and shaped down, I'm gonna come in with my brush and lift up a little bit as I blow dry my roots so that when I finish, I have some volume through my roots and they don't just sit completely flat. Now, the key to this is when you're doing this technique, you never wanna lift and blow dry these front bangs because the whole point is to try and keep everything combed forward. So when you're creating this lift, you just want it to be back in the crown and around the sides, but avoid coming up like this and blow drying your root from here for this look. Just by using a leave-in conditioner and a thermal protectant and blow drying in the right direction, you can see the shape forming. You have some lift through the crown, but yet through the sides and the front, it's smoothed down for this shaggy look. Now, one of the cutest things about a pixie is when it's got movement, but it's still molded to your head. So that is why I love this comb in particular, because it literally fits the curve of your head. So what I'm gonna show you now is as I come in and finish blow drying, I'm gonna be coming around the curve of my head so that I'm pulling these hair into the shape of my face. This is especially important if you tend to have calics. I have a huge calic right here. And so when I'm using this technique, I will actually blow dry and pull 
the hair around this cowlick. And so it creates this really cool movement of my hair in the back of the head. Does that make sense? Okay, let's see it in action. The two mistakes I see pixies make all the time is they haphazardly blow dry their hair. And the other one is they don't use enough or the right products. This is where product comes in because I have such a great shape to work with now, but you can see there's not enough pieces to it. There needs to be some more shine in my opinion. And when you don't use products to create separation, you end up just looking like you have this big puff ball on your head and nobody wants that. So as a pixie, learn your blow drying technique and don't be scared of products. Get products that work for you. We're at the point where now your style preference comes into play because you can wear this one of two ways. You can either do a side swipe look where most of it's pulled forward, but you kind of move the bangs to the side like this, or you can go the full Sienna Miller look, which is bring it all forward and then kind of split it down the middle, but leaving that middle bang there. And then you can have a lot of fun really throwing these middle top pieces around. We all know everybody's hair texture is different. And so if your hair texture isn't stick straight like mine, this is the time where you can really come in and create some fun using a straightening iron. So I could go either way today. I could throw in some product and just rock the, the straight look, but I'm gonna show you how to use the straightening iron to piece it out a little bit more and give it a little bit more dimension. The key here is to not touch every single strand with the straightening iron. You just wanna take a few little key pieces and, and sculpt them the way that you want them. Less is more. You're not trying really to create any curl but you also don't want it to be stick straight. So you just lightly come in and smooth the shaft down and add just a little bit of twist with the wrist. I just kind of look for some areas that need a little bit of attention. difference there how using the flat iron just creates a little bit more pieciness. Now that the front looks good, don't forget to do the back. We're 90% of the way there. This is where you come in with your product again and really make it pop. This is the product I used to protect it in the beginning and style it in the end. Really, really work this product in. You want it in the hair. Don't be shy, smooth those ends. You'll start to feel your hair just transforming as you're using this. So now you get to come in and just have some fun placing things with your fingers, moving things around. How fun is this? Look at this cute little hairstyle shaping up. So easy, so fun. Now I have to admit, there is not a day that goes by that I do not use my sugar tea spray from Paul Mitchell. Mwah! It is the best. I pray they never get rid of this product. This product basically just creates separation and hold. Now when you're working with a calic here, you really want to use sprays to hold them. Create some fun movement in your hair. The last product needed to finish off this look is a styling paste. So this is a medium hold paste. This product I just use gently through the ends to create pieciness. And 
you can take little strands like this and twirl them and place them, just whatever you wanna do, have fun with it. And you'll see in Sienna Miller, she kind of twists this forward, but this back. So you can get that kind of nice little side swept look. That's really cute. Ta-da! That's how you create a shaggy pixie. No sweat, you got this. Just make sure you are following me on Facebook, on Instagram, and that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thanks for following and thanks for watching. See you next time.